In this activity, we're going to make a balancing parrot. Uh, it's very similar to the balancing bird that we made. Uh, I have a link to that in the description of the video if you want to try that out as well. So in this case, I have a print off of the balancing bird and that's in the description of the video. Uh, you're going to need to glue that onto a bit of um, cardboard. In this case, just a cereal box. Uh, you need a scissors for cutting it out, a little bit of sellotape for taping on the coin, a coin. In this case, I'm going to use a, a two cent coin. And then I have some colors because we're going to color it in. So what we've done is we've taken the uh, printout uh, and we have uh, glued it to a card and then uh, we've cut out the shape. Then we've colored it in. Uh, and now what we're going to try and do is we're going to show you that if you try and balance the, the parrot on its um, its uh, feet here, which is this, in this case is orange, if you try and balance it there, you can see that it falls over. What we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and lower the center of mass of the parrot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this two uh, cent coin and we're going to sellotape it uh, to uh, the bottom of the parrot. What we're doing here is we're lowering uh, the center of mass of the bird and because the center of mass of the bird, um, once you've sellotaped this on, uh, is actually lower than where your finger is. So the center of mass of the bird is about here now. Because it's lower, it should balance in your finger like that. You can, of course, uh, take her and uh, color the other side of it if you'd like.